Animal cells store energy in the form of ion gradients across the cell membrane. In the cytosol, the sodium ion concentration is kept low relative to the extracellular fluid, and conversely, the potassium ion concentration in the cytosol is kept high. Like water behind a dam, these gradients harbor potential energy that the cell taps to fuel cellular work. Animal cells use a membrane pump, called the sodium-potassium pump, to maintain these ion gradients. To begin the pumping cycle, sodium ions enter binding sites on the cytosolic side of the pump. Although there are three sodium binding sites on this pump, for simplicity, only one is illustrated here. Pumping sodium against its concentration gradient requires energy, which is provided by cleaving ATP. ATP transfers a phosphate group to the pump in a high-energy linkage. Phosphorylation causes a dramatic change in the pump's conformation, so that the sodium ions become exposed and released outside of the cell. This action also exposes binding sites for potassium ions in the pump. Although there are two potassium binding sites, for simplicity only one is shown here. Binding of the potassium ions triggers release of the phosphate group and the return of the pump to its initial conformation. The potassium is then released inside the cell and the cycle repeats. A complete cycle takes about 10 milliseconds.